Whoa! Let's go! And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Echo Kahiri. So we're going to be trying out Kahiri the Returned in a Zillion Echo deck. We've played a few different Zillion Echo decks so far, and we've talked about what it struggles against is the larger units from your opponents because a lot of these Shurima cards are small. The removal is small, um, you know, just does a little bit of damage. And so the large units give you a lot of trouble. And so what we're going to try to do here is try to use Kahiri the Returned to uh, help fight the large units from the opponent because hopefully our Kahiris can be very large. So this is, uh, you know, when I'm summoned, create a copy of me in your deck, but the main part here is when you see me in a prediction, you grant all allied copies of me everywhere, plus two, plus two. So each time we do a prediction and a Kahiri shows up, you know, it's, it's going to get plus two, plus two. So that, you know, then Kahiri is a six, six, then an eight, eight and, and so on. And so we want to have very large Kahiris. Um, and so basically kind of treating this as like level one Nasus, right? Like old, you know, they used to have fearsome six mana would be very large. That's what we're going to kind of have here is level one Nasus with the Kahiri. And in order to enable that, we got to have a lot of predictions. And that's what we got. We got uh, all these cards that predict ancient preparations, scrying sands, uh, time in a bottle, time trick, zillion, practical perfectionist, and even echo creating some time tricks. So we have um, 20 cards that predict, not including the echoes. Um, so lots and lots of predictions. Time in a bottle looks a little off, but I think could kind of be surprising. We can use this to advance our Preservarium, our Ancient Preparations, or also Time Bombs, right? Like we can play Time Bomb and only have Spell Mana left, and they're like, oh, that Time Bomb's not going to happen yet. And then suddenly, boom, Focus Speed, Time in a Bottle, um, advance that Time Bomb and surprise the opponent so yeah, so this is going to be pretty interesting to try out. We're also going to be playing Siphoning Strikes because we'll have the very large Kahiris to be able to help us Siphoning Strike or Ruin Runner, another good card to use with Siphoning Strike, and then try to get some more size on our Echoes and our Zillions because that's what our, our deck struggles with is other units of size. So we're trying to get more size with the Researchers and the Siphoning Strike. So, all right, let's get to it. Let's give it a try. Let's see if Kahiri fixes some of the problems that we've had so far with Zillion Echo. Looks like nobody wants to play against Zillion Echo. Never mind. All right, and it's another Sivir deck. Kind of on the only thing that we've been playing against today, Sivir. I am just going to keep the hand. We got a Ruin Runner to fight their Ruin Runner. We got a two drop to play. Yes, Fallen Feline. line And then a couple of pretty good Predict cards. Crying Sands can bust up a spell shield or help. Or help something out. Um, perfectionist next round. I don't want to be whatever woke you up. Woohoo! Can't steer! Alright, there's a Kahiri. I'm going to choose Kahiri, I think, and just get more... Because I think this is an important matchup for Kahiri, right? Because like, we got to get bigger than LeBlanc Sivir. And so now we have more Kahiris in our deck also for our predictions to have a better chance of hitting them. I know what I'm worth. Man, that card is so good. <laughs> I think I'm just going to pass. I guess I could take the Echo... Yeah, I guess let's have an Echo in hand. No, I'll save five life too. Sand in trouble, far as the eye can see. So yeah, I don't have like other times we, when we've played Zillion Echo, we've tried like a lot of removal spells, and so we're not playing like all the removal spells this time. So I kind of have to make this trade, otherwise they would just have the Sivir kill it. What's behind the store, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. Yeah, this this card is better than 
I this card is better than Tomb Keeper. I didn't know what was waiting. What you want without I'm pretty mercy. confident about that. That card's better than Doom Keeper. Business as usual. It's a living. After them. Business as usual. It's a living. So, all right, so 13, so they need 17 to level up. Two, four, nine, 15, 16. So we'll not level up. We won one short. I wanted to see a Kahiri in the um, in the prediction. Man, they have plus three on that. Yeah, I guess they did have the landmark earlier, didn't they? All right, well, there is the Kahiri. So next round, I'm gonna have seven mana. Maybe I'll just grab another Kahiri. No, because, okay, so I'm gonna play Echo. So I'm gonna like Xenotype and Echo next round. I'm gonna grab the Zillion. I have been getting annihilated by Ruin Runner plus the plus three Shapestone. Like, Shapestone Ruin Runner today has been destroying me pretty good. I see you picked up a little more than knowledge. Facing certain doom, I had to be so to be here tomorrow. You said that yesterday. Good one, Zill. High five, yeah. This is my future. I've been happy with how our decks performed, but it's not easy to beat Treasure Seeker, Sivir, Ruin Runner, Merciless Hunter with Shapes now. Like, right, like this is just a difficult deck to defeat, but I've been happy with how our deck has performed. Um, but I'm not sold we're going to be able to stay alive. Back we have more life, <laughs> you know, but we just don't have the life. That Shapestone. From after today, though, I'm 100% I'm in the camp that Treasure Seeker is better than old Doom Keeper, that they, they upgraded Doom Keeper. Which is pretty silly for how, you know, Dune Keeper. What? What's my opponent doing? They know that I have this Hexite Crystal. They, all they had to do was just pull things with the two ones, and I lose. I don't know what they were doing there. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going Interesting on. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. I've learned what I can to help Ikathia. The best lives are beautiful. Are you certain? Well, we shouldn't be in this game at all right now. But it looks like we are. They don't have any Nexus damage. The Kahiri's been looking good. Yeah, okay. 
Shouldn't have been in that game at all. They had lethal, but they, I don't know. I guess they forgot about the Hexite Crystal. Yeah, they just didn't realize I had a Hexite Crystal. GG's. All right, not Sivir. Okay, so we don't have a lot of removal. It's not what we're doing. Uh, we have the one, two, three curve. Preparations, you know, we could play on four with something else. Okay, get another one. Scrying Sands? I see Scrying Sands being important. They're, of course, a, you know, a deck that's all about, like, their Flame Chompers and their champions. We are not doing a good job finding Kahiri yet. I'm playing Zilly in this round. Look, Lou, I'm not sure what else I'm playing. If it's Ancient Preparations or just holding the spell mana. Probably, I guess it's probably just Ancient Preparations. Um. If we can undo what has been done, we can thank you for Let me show There's some Kahiris. Alright, let's grab one. Now it's a 6 mana 8-8. Eight, eight. You know, like, that's what... So we're saying it's basically just Nasus. Like, <laughs> you know, level one Nasus. Do you think the Sivir decks lose to Burn Aggro? What, can you be more specific with Burn Aggro? Like, what do you mean by Burn Aggro? Do I want more Zillions in my deck? Do I want more of any of these cards in my deck? I guess I'm just gonna skip. Okay, go ahead. I think maybe. Jinx? Stands for Jinx? Like, yeah, okay, yeah, like the discard burn, like Noxus PNZ. Sand and trouble. It's a good chance. A good chance that they'd struggle against that. I think I should have grabbed the Zillion with the Perfectionist. Definitely would have been a lot better than time in the bottle. Save four life. I throw throw away the four two. Save four life. So, don't love it, but I think we gotta do it. Wait. Now we can finish what was begun. I'm on the verge of something. Wow. Immerse yourself in the Levels up, Jinx. Start making those super mega death rockets. Can.
Okay, good hand opponent. Really good hand. That was, that was pretty impressive. Alright, one on one. Alright, Jarvan Chen. A deck filled with challengers. Maybe not the best for us to see, just a bunch of challengers. Because we, we're not playing removal and we have small units. So that may not be the best. But we'll see. keep the spell mana, but I guess we'll just Preservarium. I should have let my, like, that last game, if I would have blocked and let the Zillion die, and then Perfectionist choose the other Zillion, like, maybe we could have got more Time Bombs, and uh, Time Bombs are definitely what we needed that last game. Attacking before Shen comes into play. The eye of Twilight sees all. My plans! Get the Hexite Crystal in there first. <laughs> now let's get some time bombs. I'm just gonna skip. Time is winding. Like a watch. Just gonna skip again, or Zillion. Actually, let me take the Zillion. This is pretty fun, just like Who does not know the name, infinite predicting. I don't know if it's actually infinite predicting, but it sure feels like it. Okay, maybe I'll choose Kahiri. I mean, Time Trick... Time Trick's pretty nice. Maybe we actually choose Kahiri now. It's a 10-10. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. <laughs> I find them in my heart. I mean, I can't be mad at a 10-10. Nature blesses her followers! An imbalance. Who would trespass here? You call this a hardly fair. Nature blesses her followers. All right, I think nature blesses her followers. I think they should probably have Greenglade Caretaker have more than one voice line that is said every single time <laughs> anything happens. Uh, let's start the time bombs. If we can undo what has been done, we can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. Our wills align. Yeah, we get it. Nature blesses our followers. We get it. We get it. How does Green Lake Caretaker say that, like, no matter what happens? <laughs> it just says that all the time.
Okay, we got leveled up Zillion. Pass. Okay. All right, that's that's a big deal. We're back in this. Whoa. <laughs> Juked us out. Ah, I see. They're gonna keep keep fighting. Excite crystal, eh? It's time for a time bomb. We're gonna play nothing but time bombs. Over and over. They are at eight. Which isn't much life. Now we make two time bombs and the Hexite Crystal. They, they play that, I, of course I respond with the Crystal. But I guess they got an answer to that. No, they don't. All right. Wow. Zillion time bombs. Just as, I thought. Just as I thought. Taking out like the large Shen and a bunch of barriers and stuff. That's not easy to do. Oh, actually, no, this is what we lost to. We lost to Lulu Jinx. They had a very impressive hand, both champions. The augmented experimenters were really the key. So this is what we lost to. Oh, we got a Kahiri in our opener this time. No, oh, no, a second Kahiri in our opener. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, Scrying Sands has been doing pretty well, especially that last round is really where it showed up the best. What was that last round? Okay, so I want to choose Time Bomb because Time Bombs are really good here, but I also, yeah, we just choose it. But I also, I was gonna say, I want to leave it in and so that we get Perfectionist Time Bomb. I shouldn't get that greedy, though. I think it's either Preservarium or Skip. I guess I could go Chronomancer. I think I'm just gonna skip. That's really too bad to see two of these Kahiris right right away, back to back. I like the other Zillion. Zillion put more time bombs in here and predict again. Because they're probably going to have the zero mana challenger, right? Like, they always do zero mana challenger. I hope they challenge Zillion and let my 4-2 block Lulu. I don't think they'll do that, but I hope they do that. Wow. Yes. Yes. Do it. Maybe I should just let the 2-2. Two -two. Maybe I should just block with the 2-2 two -two to not incentivize. Yeah, I probably should just block with the 2-2. Two -two. Not incentivize anything else like that. Take the time trick. The KPIs depending on me. Time bomb. That was important. Ok, 
Okay, so Zillion level. <laughs> Jackson picked that. Fan of the cat. The cat does have very good voice lines, I agree. Is there a better chance this happens, or should I just be playing like a Ruin Runner? I think I'm going for it. Obviously they can have like some kind of protection, but I'm gonna force them to have it. It doesn't die to get excited, right? Like they can't they can't just like get excited kill my zillion. Wow! We got him! Does siphoning strike? Because if that does work, we do get to like make a new siphoning strike the next game. Alright, we got revenge. Oh, thralls. Thralls make lots of large things, and I have no landmark removal. So, this is probably going to be pretty tough. Send it back. Jack. Do it again. Kind of want to keep a Xenotype. I think this is an instant loss. Maybe we can get a large enough Kahiri if we're lucky. First steps first is no, like them passing. Pass. I'll play this feline. Yeah. I say no landmark on one. That's first step. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Cool. Now, no Lissandra either. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. All right, there's the Kahiri. Now, am I taking Zillion or Kahiri? Do I just take the Kahiri? Yeah, because wait, oh, this is perfectionist. We can put more Kahiris into the deck. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I like it. In the time stream. You can only advance ally landmarks two rounds. I can't advance their landmarks. They don't allow us to do that. Whoa! Let's go! Alright, Kahiri, plus six, plus six! Stronger, faster. Oh no! I don't like that. Ah, no Kahiris. Okay, Zillion or Echo? I think. Uh, Echo's better. Let's see, Echo's at. Okay, so this is gonna be four out of five for Echo. So I need to go time in a bottle first. So the echo, so the echo levels, and then get some chrono breaks in the deck. Okay, or I could scrying sands. Cause I'm not, I'm not gonna play like the echo first, and they play avalanche, and then it's dead, and then I'm like, man, what, what am I doing? So like, I'm definitely playing this leveled up. I think I'm going to use the time in a bottle and save Scrying Sands. Okay, we'll just skip. Unless we want Zillion. Do we want Zillion? Sure. Zillion's probably better than a random card in the deck. Things aren't going to improve themselves. Yeah, we've every single time we've played Echo with this deck, it's been leveled, right? Because like, this deck just has so much predict. And yeah, we've always been waiting until it's leveled so we get those Chrono Breaks immediately. I wonder if I should... If they pass here, do I open attack? Or do I play the Kahiri? What will you have? This one's on the house. Okay, well, I, I will take this trade so an Avalanche doesn't just kill my 4-2. Nah. 
I'm back. It's so good to see you again. My dear friend, you weren't gone long, but I worried every second. Yeah, I mean, it's just Nasus, right? Six mana, 10, 10, fearsome. Since they haven't been playing the avalanches, that probably means that they got some frostbites. Oh, wow, preservationist. I guess they're playing that instead of Talia. Or they, do they have Talia in here? Yeah, they do. They do have Talia in here. Even the void couldn't stop me. Trying to think of what, whether or not to attack with the 5-3, but no, I shouldn't. You will do as I command. Away. I wish frostbite spells weren't a thing. Those. Grab a Chrono Break. Should I play Zillion first? Get Time Bombs in here? Time Bombs don't seem to be doing a ton for us. Play Perfectionist first. More Kiris. In the time streams. In the time stream. Hmm. Should probably be passing priority at some point. I'm sorry oh. to say, time isn't really, and we can undo what has been done. We can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. Yeah, I should have passed priority right there. No Kahiri. Bonk. Oh. Feel the power of true ice. It was gonna be tough, really tough to get that thing to work anyway with all the frostbite cards that they play. That was gonna be difficult. Please don't attack. I am inevitable. Yeah, chrono, chrono break is slow speed. Well, that's too bad. That that double ice shard got me. I should have just passed around, and you know, would have had blockers and stuff. Should have passed around, but GGs. Fun game. All right, so I think that, you know, like we went 3 2 here with Zillion Echo Kahiri. We have been struggling more with Zillion Echo before, and I think that this this definitely felt like the best Zillion Echo deck that we've played so far. You know, instead of having just a bunch of, you know, Mystic Shots and Thermogenic Beams and, you know, like all those kind of things that kind of slow the opponent down, but you just get, you know, like you're just a really slow deck that's not as powerful as your opponents. This, we actually had some chance with having Siphoning Strike and Kahiri. We actually had some power and some chance 
for those uh, matchups. So I liked it quite a bit. I think that that uh, this did pretty good. And I, I like just having a million predict cards, honestly. <laughs> you know, I think that that's honestly uh, kind of the way to go. Time in the Bottle did not perform as well as it did the last time that we played this deck. Um, could just could just replace Time in the Bottle with Feral Presence. You know, like it's instead of spending two mana <laughs> for it, you know, you spend zero mana for it. Uh, could also play Psy Scout. I've played Psy Scout in this deck before, and you know, you get the get the um, elusive. That's not bad. Um, you know, or yeah, I, I would. I think maybe just the Feral Presence. Probably the two. The advance in uh, landmark two rounds probably isn't worth the two mana. I like I like just having all the predicts though. I think I would want to play the feral presence, but I think I think zero mana could be pretty nice, to be honest, and you know get like some uh, combat tricks that you maybe your opponent isn't expecting with it. Yeah, so it could go feral presence, could go um, you know could play some kind of removal there if you want, but I I. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with just having as many because because of like Kahir, you want to have as many predicts as possible. And so I think that I think that's what I would do is now we got Feral Presence, let's let's put that in. But besides that, I'm keeping everything else the same. I liked how it felt. I think it, it did feel really good and, and things like that. Um so I like it. Alright, that's gonna be it here for Zillion Echo Kahiri. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well. I guess the one last thing that I was going to say that I forgot forgot to mention here is that another card, as far as like getting removal in here, I don't think you should play very much. I think you should uh, stay on task, curve out with your units, and play tons and tons of predict. I think that's going to be the best thing. However, I know that that, that landmark matchup will be kind of tough. Those 8-8s eight are pretty tough. And so playing some number of aftershocks is perfectly fine. And so maybe you, know, maybe you don't need three siphoning strikes. Maybe we go like two siphoning strikes, one feral presence, and get like two aftershocks in here. Because the other predicts to find him also, and so maybe that could like make a difference for that matchup. That you know, aftershock's not going to be necessarily a bad card other times. I think I think that's what I probably recommend. Yeah, let's do that. Let's play two siphoning strike, two aftershock, one feral presence, and so you can blow up those uh, landmarks that are always so tricky. Anyway, there we go. That's Zillion Echo Kahiri. Pretty awesome deck here. Lots and lots of predict. And I think this is the way to go. Like I was saying, I don't think it's, you know, I don't think the answer for Zillion Echo is just like play a whole lot of Mystic Shot and cheap removal and other things. I think, you know, get streamlined. Do what do what you need to do. You'll predict a lot. Get all your predicts in there. And then Kahiri honestly looked powerful at the top end. I really liked it. All right, but that's going to be it here for this deck. So again, those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments, let me know what you think. If you tried out yourself, if you've been looking for a good Echo deck, try this one out, you know, maybe make these changes and let me know in the comment section how it's going for you and how you like it. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.